Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Saturday afternoon, I'm just chilling, getting done with a long morning, pretty busy morning of coaching and mentoring. Anybody out there want to get on my schedule, just go to my website, skyazrael.com, or you can go find me on Facebook or Instagram. Just search my name. And we can become friends there, start talking there. Level up together, mind, body, and soul, daily discipline, lifestyle management. This is how we get through. Hope you guys have a good Saturday. We got a rainy, thundery, lightning filled afternoon here. I went riding early this morning, early, right when I woke up. Right as the sun came up, I went out, got on the bike. Before it gets hot, it's the best time to ride. trying to think of a good topic but I can't think of one so why don't we just tell some stories my brother was teasing me the other day I was over at his house he teases me about this he's teased me about this for years so let's tell a little Santa Cruz story this was many years ago I used to drink every night at a bar called the Silver Bullet Lounge the Silver Bullet's not there anymore I don't think little dive bar. Used to be cool, ended up to be just a little shithole, kind of like a fighting bar. They had one good night, which was like a drink and drown, where the college kids would come. But other than that, it was just a dirty, sleazy bar by the river across the bridge from the jail. You'd get guys getting in bar fights, and they'd get put in jail for bar fights. And then get out of jail, like after a couple days, wearing their little jail shirt, because they used to release you in a little jail shirt. And they'd walk across the bridge. The first stop they'd make is at the bar, and some of them would get in a fight again and go right back. They'd just bounce from the bar to the jail across the bridge. That was their whole life. I was in there all the time. And it was absolutely a fighting bar. They, they were, it was common to, to show up, and there'd be people fighting in the parking lot. You'd leave, there'd be people fighting out and back. I had myself been in countless fights there. My brother did security. He was a bouncer at that bar. And that was a tough job because sometimes the whole bar would erupt into like a giant rumble. And I've seen it. I've helped him during some of these times where he's, I've been sitting there drinking and he'll be like, dude, I need help. And he'll grab people two at a time, throw them out, go in and grab two more. Throw them out and just keep doing that. <laughs> so one night there's this argument out that, that spills out to the front and turns into a fight. And then people's friends get involved. So it started between two guys. They're bickering. They start pushing each other and throwing punches. It spills outside in the parking lot, these guys are squaring up, and next thing you know, his homeboys and the other guy's homeboys jump into it, so it's a little rumble. One group of guys wins. <laughs> other guys get chased off, except for one of them, who's knocked out. He's asleep, this guy is asleep on the concrete. Knocked out. And one of the guys from the bar, was a regular at the bar, can't give it up. He's still in this rage mode. And some guys get that way. They go berserk. They get in a fight, and they can't stop. They can't stop fighting. He just flipped. And he's just on top of this guy, just bam! Bam! And he had big, big fist, big arm, and he's just pounding this guy's head. He's already asleep. He's already knocked out. And he's just delivering just the most, just shockingly deadly blows to this guy's head, just over and over. So I go over to the guy. And he looks up at me as he's doing this, and I tell him, stop it. He's dead already. 
He was dead five minutes ago. Now, for all the FBI agents and cops that are watching, the guy did not die. He lived through the story. I'm not telling you a story of murder. But I thought he was dead. Jesus Christ. That was a shocking event. And what this guy's doing is just inappropriately violent, unnecessarily violent. So I stopped him. And he looks up at me and kind of snaps out of it. And he just realizes, okay, I guess I won. And he goes back in and he starts drinking. Cops are on the way. Sirens, you can hear them. They're t you, could, you could see the lights coming. The cops are on the way. Ain't nobody getting away with shit. The cops are gonna get there. They're gonna find it, you know, they're gonna investigate. Oh no, the cops showed up. This became a crime scene. And I had, you know, I had nothing to do with it. My brother was working that night, and the only thing that he had to do with it was throwing both of the people out as they were fighting. So he made his statement to the cops, and you know, that, you know, they do their thing. But for the whole rest of the night, in fact, ever since that night, just the other day, my brother still teases me about this, about that night, about me and my passionate plea to stop it. And he was, he, he tells me, he's like, uh, 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 he's dead already, uh, he's dead already. Uh, uh, uh. That's what my brother just did to me the other day. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I just tried to help someone. <laughs>